Hey everyone. Well, I got a project off site today, going to the mother-in-law's house um, to fix her water fountain. Don't know if it's electrical, if the pump's gone, if the water just shut off, but that's gonna be the afternoon. It's 90 degrees out, so it's gonna be fun working out in the sun, trying to figure this out. But hey, I'm gonna hit the road. Let's get busy. Hey, I'm here. I'm looking at the fountain now. Let's see what we've got. Obviously, it hasn't been running for a while. Almost all the water's evaporated out of it. I don't know if somebody turned it off, but I assume because she said she had someone look at it. Um, unplugged. Well, so there's a couple steps before we go taking anything apart. First off, I'm going to run under the assumption that the pump actually works and we've got an electrical problem. I know this fountain, I've seen it operate and it throws a lot of water all around it. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's an electrical problem, even a breaker or something. So I'm gonna go try to locate the breaker box for this. Um, there's several on this property. So once I do that, uh, we'll take a look. I'll be right back. Okay, it wasn't the other breaker box, so it's gotta be this one in one of the outbuildings. Um, well, this one looks tripped. Oh, we do, hot water here. Okay, that's fine, that can be off. Shop light, shop lights, interesting. Ceiling outlet security, wall, almost upstairs. Fountain, okay, is eight. Uh, right, eight. That's eight. That's fine. I'll throw it anyway, but I'm pretty sure that it's not the breaker. So next, we wanna test, uh, power at the outlet and I brought a whole box of stuff to do stuff to work with brought my voltmeter all right so I'm used to working on cars I'm going in DC settings wow look at this thing dead lizard huh? so we're gonna go to AC volts show you Set it to AC volts 200, because this will be a 120, I assume. And go in and see. Get juice. Yep, I got power. 120 points, 119.8. And in the other outlet, Huh. All right, so the bottom outlet, I'm getting, I'm reading nothing. Not very low, but bottom outlet looks like it's no good. But we have power here. Okay, so that's not it. The cord for this is rotted. This water fountain splashes. Show you what I'm talking about. So this this fountain shoots out the top and it shoots out way too much. And so it splashes. So everything around here gets soaked. The electricals go under this housing, which somebody apparently removed. Um, but I'm gonna replace this cord is all beat up and rusty. Uh, let me cut that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna cut that end off and look at it. All right, so here's uh, here's the outlet, and it is bad. It's all corroded completely. I tried cutting into it to look inside, and let me see if you can see that. What that looks like inside. It's completely rusty. Um, the wires aren't bad, but this you can't get apart because look at the screws. The screws are completely corroded. You can't get them out. So um, I'm gonna replace the end, which fortunately I brought a spare cord, a computer power cord, and I brought waterproof shrink tubing. So um, I'm gonna replace this thing first. That's my, that's my belief that this is what it is.
this back so to make sure you can see what I'm doing. All of what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut this cable back far enough that I have enough wire because the rest of this cable is going to be junk after this anyway. In fact, let's just do this. Just cut it here. I'm going to cut that end off. Uh, cut into the insulation here. Again, this is assuming there's nothing wrong with the pump itself. I haven't run power to it yet. But with all these other problems, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I'm pretty sure this plug is the problem. One of those outlets is, but I can get to that later. Okay, got three wires here. We'll be able to test this pump right away too. Now this rubber here is significantly harder to tear than the non-weathered version. should be enough. Okay. All right, so this type of test is actually quite easy. One thing I did not do is bring some wire nuts, but you see, going to the pump, you get your same three colors. So we're just gonna connect them and keep them from touching, obviously. So that's black. Safety first. I'm just gonna put a little electrical tape on these.
Okay, so we're wired in. Now, unless the pump has got some low water shutoff, I should hear it kick on as soon as I plug it in. But that is the question. I don't know if it has a low water shutoff. I don't hear. There it is. Okay. Pump's running. All right. So let's fix this. Uh, for real. Not just electrical tape. <clears throat> Hopefully my phone doesn't overheat while we do this. All right, I've got power. Let's get my electrical. Yeah, I know we have power there, but that's finicky. That, that is gonna need to be changed out. But I don't have one, so I'll have to go get one. So for now, we're gonna rely on the drop light. All right. I'm twist these guys. I need a little bit more space here. So tear into the easy one. There we go. So what I plan on doing, using the crimp connectors and then going over the whole thing with marine shrink tubing, which I'm hesitant to bring out here because it's so hot that I'm scared it's gonna start shrinking. It's hot today. There we go. Is this size big enough? One of these is going to be big enough. Oh, yeah. Like this size? very big pieces and we got to go around all of this and then we're going to need a couple smaller pieces because we got to go around that so I'm going to put one of these I'm putting all this stuff on in advance obviously because once it's crimped you can't do it and those And on this side, one of these. These are shrink tubings with crimps and the crimps, well I'm told they're not really crimps but they melt into solder. Alright, so we're just doing that. Now I've said this before, if you've seen some of my other videos, I do crimp these because I want the solder to go right where I want it. So I crimp the solder piece right where I want it to be. That way, when I hit it with heat, it doesn't move.
Okay, we're all crimped. Okay. Well, as suspected, phone overheated, so I had to stop. But that's fine. Let's uh, pick up where we left off, which we were just about to do some more shrink tube work. This piece will go directly on top of the crimps. We'll go there. Turn that up. that up again, get it a little smaller. And this piece is going to go over this and just seal it to the end. Like that. So again, this is it's marine shrink tubing, so it's got glue in it that seals the electricals up. I wouldn't want to use regular shrink tubing with the amount of water this thing leaks all over everything. And there goes my breaker again. I don't like that, that can hurt this light. Right, this next step I'm doing really shouldn't be necessary at all, but um, I am a belt and suspenders type of person because this particular cable is going to see a lot of water. And you'll see when I get the fountain working again. So I am using my buddy liquid electrical tape on all the seams of the uh, shrink tubing just to add a little other level of protection here okay put that i think we're done cutting wires so get all this stuff out of the way Jeez, these tools are red hot even all right, so you'll note that the fountain is full of pollen and leaves and all that. So I'm gonna make a scoop out of this bottle. I'm gonna get all that debris out before I start filling it with water because I don't want the pump to just get gummed up again. All right, so I'll be back. I'm gonna let the foam cool down again. 
I'm going to do is take this. Once I get the majority of the water out, I can actually just mop it up, mop up all the pollen and leaves out. There's too much water in here right now for me to do that. This is going to take me a while, so I'll be back. I'm gonna let the phone cool down. Okay, um, most of the water and most of the gunk is out. Right here. Turn the water on. Now this weird thing, which you're probably wondering about, right here, it's a little homemade invention. Yeah. Uh, it will shut off the water when it gets high enough. So let's let's hope the water's on. Uh, looks like it. Okay. All right. It's going to take a while for it to fill up. Once it gets a few inches, we'll turn the pump on. Well, it starts, so I think we need to wipe up a little bit more of this. Alright, well, there's definitely gunk in there. But leaves and stuff, I can clean up. has a drain plug and you might be like, why didn't you just drain it? Well, because it won't come out and I'm worried that if you take it out, it'll just persistently leak. So, do a manual. Right, let's let this fill up. I'll be back. As I was cleaning it up, I noticed a million mosquitoes in there. Little mosquito larvae twitching around, obviously because it hasn't been running, so it's been still water. But I'm going to add some chlorine to the water. Keep it down. We get a couple inches in there. We're getting there. It's getting there. It has to get above the inlet holes here. That's where the pump will pull the water in. But I figured I'd show you how this thing works. So as the thing fills up, this lifts up. So as it fills up, this will float and it shuts the water off. That's simple. Another few minutes, we'll be done. Okay, the uh, filler is shutting off. This appears to be in and upside down. I'm gonna reach in and check for leaves. It seems pretty clear. Um, is this going a better way? that right? Or is, that seems like it would be better. It is. Okay. So we're good. Um, I don't want to plug this in with a wet hand on a kind of shoddy outlet here. Um, but let's see. Um, this I will have to change, but I did not bring one. This is, I mean, look at it. That thing is pretty shoddy. Looks like the lizard that got in there and shorted it out, maybe, um, destroyed the lower outlet. So we have to use the upper one. But let's let me get the camera set up and see if uh, what we did worked.
All right. We're going. See how much it splashes? Unreal. Unreal. I got to figure out how to do a, some type of valve up the top so it doesn't shoot so high up. But it's good. It's fixed. Um, I got to change the outlet, which I'll do at a later date. But for now, we're good. Okay, it's fixed. You can see how much it splashes. Everything gets, gets soaked around it. But uh, that's it. I don't know why the electrician had trouble with it. Maybe he just didn't have time and didn't want to deal with it. But um, hey, if you get a fountain like this, it's not, a, not that difficult to troubleshoot it when something goes wrong. Fortunately, it wasn't the pump. But these pumps, you know, they're pretty hardy. They don't go they don't go too often. And with the amount this was splashing, I was pretty sure it was electrical anyway. But, um, you know, hey, if you got something like this that you need to tackle, don't be intimidated. Just go out, get busy. And, uh, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps. Take care. Sorry, Nacho. You couldn't come on this one.